Welcome to another video from explainingcomputers.com. This time we're going to take a look at this, the latest WD Black NVMe SSD, which has been kindly supplied to review by Western Digital. Now, if you're a fan of this channel, you know I'm really into SSDs, I've made lots of videos about SSDs, and I've also been using Western Digital hard drives in my build for over 20 years. So when Western Digital got in touch and said, do you want to look at our lay sister WD Black NVMe SSD? I said, of course I do, that's very exciting. And so what I'm gonna do in the video is to tell you a bit about NVMe SSDs. And then of course, we'll look at the specs of this particular product. We'll put this in a PC and we'll do some performance tests. And then finally, I want to think about what this tells us a bit more broadly about the development of storage technology. Right, here we have our WD Black NVMe SSD, which we can see from the picture on the front is an M.2 drive. And to explain what this means, we should note that SSDs are currently manufactured in one of three physical form factors. Firstly, we have traditional two and a half inch drives that connect via a cable to the computer's motherboard. Secondly, we have M.2 drives that plug into an M.2 slot, and finally, we have PCIe card SSDs that plug into a standard PCIe slot. Now, while modern SSDs come in one of three physical form factors, and may communicate electrically with the rest of the computer using one of two different interface standards. The first is SATA, which is used on most two and a half inch drives and is limited to a transfer speed of 600 megabytes a second. This is far below the speed of modern SSD technology, and so an SSD-only interface called NVMe, or Non-Volatile Memory Express, has been introduced. This connects SSDs via PCIe, with the fastest drives currently available claiming a transfer speed of up to 3,500 megabytes a second. NVMe is used on all new PCIe card SSDs, as well as on the latest U.2 2.5 inch drives. M.2 SSDs also come with either a SATA or an NVMe interface. And so returning to our WD Black NVMe SSD, you can see that what we have here is an M.2 drive with the fastest available interface. And uh, the capacity of this drive, as you can see, is 500 gigabytes, although there's also 250 gigabytes on one terabyte versions available. And the claimed read speed here is 3,400 megabytes a second, which is over five and a half times faster than a comparable SATA drive. So hopefully you're now fully up to date on what this technology actually is. So let's get inside the box. Let's bring in uh, Stanley the knife to help us out. And I think we get in around the back here, just over there, if I can get in, hopefully. And uh, there we are, we can get in and uh, flick it round. Oh, this is exciting. I do like, SSD technology, as you'll know, it's been watching this channel for a while. And uh, you must handle these things with a bit of care with the good sort of static grounding, which I've got here. And you can, you can see the drive there. Let's get the thing out to look at it properly, handling it very carefully. We'll take it down and put it down uh, just uh, there. And uh, I feel I should just take a second to marvel at this device. This is not the first M.2 drive I've ever uh, owned or had in my possession but it is uh, the highest capacity and by far the fastest. Uh, I, I do find these things extraordinary. This is only about seven and a half grams in weight, and yet it's got 500 gigabyte capacity, could be a terabyte capacity. And uh, the price, if you're wondering, is about 166 pounds or $199.99 in the US. That's in July, 2018. And uh, as I've said already, the theoretical transfer speed is 3,400 megabytes a second read and 2,500 megabytes a second write. So anyway, this is an amazing little device, and I think it's now high time to take it, put it in a PC, and see how it performs. Right, for the tests in this video, I'm going to be using this PC, which is my render box, which normally sits under my desk rendering 3D animation. And as you may remember, about 18 months ago, I fitted this with an i7 processor in a Gigabyte H170 DS3H motherboard. And the reason I've dragged this box out to do these tests is because it's the only PC I own with an M.2 slot, which will support an NVMe drive. And it's also a PCIe Gen 3 times 4 slot, which means it's got the performance to demonstrate the maximum performance with the WD Black NVMe drive we're going to test. 
Now, as you can see, the M.2 slot is currently occupied, and it's occupied with a Transcend 128GB SSD. This is an M.2 SSD, but it's a SATA interface, so this will be a lot slower than the Western Digital Black Drive we're about to fit. So we will do some comparative tests, of course, but right now I want to switch this out for the WD Black Drive, so I'll start off doing that. It's a bit difficult to get in and do this without my fingers getting completely in your way, so I'll flick into high speed as I take this thing out. And we'll now slot in the uh, WD Black drive. There we are into the slot there. So simple to fit a uh, M.2 drive. You've got no uh, cabling to worry about and power cabling and drive mounting. You just chuck it to a slot and there it is. And hopefully I can now just get in the screw, which will go in there. And uh, there we are. We've now got the WD Black drive fitted into our PC. So, here we are on a Windows 10 desktop. My render box normally runs Windows 7, but by default Windows 7 doesn't support NVMe drives, so I've done a temporary install of Windows 10. And I've also installed a piece of software here called a Crystal Disk Mark, which you can use for benchmarking drives. And as you can see, it selected the drive, which is our WD Black NVMe drive format to 466GB formatted. And this will basically test the thing out. And you can select how many times it'll run all its different tests to give a, an average. I've set that to three rather than the default of five, just so that we don't uh, hammer the drive too much. So uh, I'll start this thing off and it'll do various read-write tests. So I'll click all, it'll take it a second, but we'll start it off. And there we are, it's finished. And these are really spectacular results. I should just say that the, you've got various different sets of results here. The first row of results in Crystal Disk Mark is basically copying large files either to or from the drive. And then the lower tests uh, write lots of tiny files using lots of different queues and the process of thread simultaneously to try and sort of simulate more real world performance actually running programs. But the top figures here are the ones I, I tend to focus on because these are showing you what happens when you're reading and writing large amounts of data to a drive. And the remarkable thing here is that the read speed of a 3,447 megabytes a second is actually faster than the 3,400 megabytes a second claimed by Western Digital on the box, which is uh, extraordinary. And the write speed of you know, 2,538 megabytes a second is amazing. And uh, just to give you a feel of how fast that is, let's bring up the scores I got when I ran this test on the Transcend SSD that was previously in this machine. That, remember, is a SATA M.2 SSD. And you can see the difference is remarkable. We've got a 6.1 times faster read and a 7.75 times faster write, which basically we've got to remember the Transcend drive is a little bit older than this, so it's gone through a few cycles. But even so, th these are remarkable. I think if you want a, a demonstration of just why you go for an NVMe drive, this makes that so clear. It really is extraordinarily faster. That said, I've never been too keen on just using benchmark programs to do tests, so now I want to do one of my own tests, reading and writing, to the same two drives. So, here I am back again, and what I've done now is to set up a RAM disk on this machine. There it is, I've used the SoftPerfect RAM disk program, I'll give you a link to that in the video description. And that's allowed me to set up a drive A here, which will clearly be very, very fast, even faster than the WD Black NVMe SSD. And so I can use this to do a, a test which won't be constrained by where I'm writing from or, or copying to, if you see what I mean. Anyway, I've got three gigabytes of test files sitting there in the, the RAM drive. I'm going to uh, copy those files and go down here to uh, paste them across to do initially a write test of the NVMe SSD. But I thought it'd be interesting to do this in parallel with the same thing on the, the Transcend SSD we were using, which shows us the, the sort of performance you get from a SATA drive. So I'll set this thing up, and then bring up on screen everything so we've got the two side by side. We'll have a little race, and uh, here we go. And there we are. By Jove, that was fast, as uh, Ken Dodd would have said. What, 2.4 seconds to copy that three gigabytes, that 3.02 gigabytes of files across. 
which uh, gives us a, a write speed for the WD Black NVMe SSD of 1289 megabytes a second. That I will take as the real world score you get if you're copying lots of files around. And it compares to what, 12.6 uh, seconds for the uh, SATA SSD. We're using the Transcend drive here just as a, a benchmark for in general a, a SATA SSD, which is what, 250 megabytes a second. So about 5.1 times faster opting for the uh, WD Black NVMe drive. So that, that's amazing, isn't it? It really shows if uh, you, speed is what matters to you, getting an NVMe drive like the WD Black really is worth doing. Now, I guess we should also run this test the other way round. So I'll uh, set that up. And uh, here we are, I've switched things around. We'll do the read test. We'll press the buttons together as last time. And uh, there we are again. A slightly strange result there. I've actually got the, uh, the read speed being slightly less than the write speed of the WD Black, 2.68 seconds compared to 2.4, uh, and compared to uh, 7.28 seconds for the, uh, uh, the, the SATA based uh, Transcend drive. I guess this really is proving flaws in my methodology here of the starting and stopping process probably is, is a limitation there. But even so, we're getting again well over a, a thousand megabytes a second uh, transfer speed compared to about 425 for the uh, uh, SATA based drive. But however we look at this, the uh, WD Black NVMe SSD is incredibly fast. Now, as I said at the start of the video, I'd been fitting Western digital drives into PCs for a great many years. And having just witnessed the extraordinary performance of this, the WD Black NVMe SSD, I thought it'd be fascinating to compare this with what was for many years the highest performance drive you could put into a PC. And that was one of these, a Western Digital Velociraptor, also marketed as a Western Digital Raptor. And this is a 10,000 RPM, three and a half inch hard drive. These initially came in capacities of 36 gigabytes or 74 gigabytes, and it's a really meaty, really weighty drive. I can't really get across the sheer bulk and quality of this drive on video, but these were, were at the time the, the best drive you could, you could fit from sort of about 2003 onwards. If you wanted the best performance drive in the PC, you fitted a Velociraptor. And therefore I thought what I do now is to connect this thing up and we could see how things have changed across time. How we had you know, the, the best drive you could put in your PC, the highest performance drive from Western Digital was one of these. It's now one of these. Let's see how they compare in the performance test. So I'm back again to compare the old and the new. And as you can see, I run the Crystal Disk Mark using the Velociraptor drive. And uh, the difference in speeds between that and the WD Black MME SSD, if we bring that up, is remarkable, isn't it? It just shows how much faster computers have got in uh, the past few years. Because the, these figures here for the Velociraptor, this was the fastest you could do for a uh, drive in a video editing PC, in a, in a gaming PC, not that many years ago. We've really had remarkable change in computing for between the uh, hard disk technology and what we've now got with the NVMe M.2 drives. So I thought we should just do the test uh, looking at the um, copying. So we'll uh, bring those uh, up. I've set everything up as before and we'll uh, take our three gig of data and copy it and then bring everything up to have everything side by side. We'll bring back the copy for the NVMe SSD and we'll do this paste. This is of course a write test and uh, clearly we know that the Velociraptor is going to lose uh, it's just a question of how badly it loses, isn't it? But it's, uh, it'll take a little while. I think we'll uh, speed through this. And there we are, it's finished. We won't uh, embarrass the Velociraptor by citing the figures. That, uh, that still wasn't bad for copying three gigabytes of data even, even that many years ago. But uh, there we are. We've had a little reflection on how drive technology has changed over time. As we've seen in this video, the latest WD Black NVMe SSD from Western Digital is a really fast storage device. And I've been fascinated to see that not just in the context of the device itself, but also in comparison to previous cutting edge storage technologies. But now that's it for another video. If you've enjoyed what you've seen here, please press that like button. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And I hope to talk to you again very soon.